Hi, I'm Julie from WordPress Training Island. Today I will show you how to embed from Pinterest to WordPress.com posts or pages. First of all, we need to go into our Pinterest account. So you have to log in and you have to open your WordPress.com account as well. We can embed a Pinterest either to a post or a page. So when you go to your front page, you've got here the option you can click onto my site and then blog post add to open this. Okay, that will bring you to your new dashboard, which looks like this. Or my preferred method would be, you go to your front page, you click in the address bar here behind your, ad, your domain name and a forward slash WordPress admin. Enter, there you go. And then you will have your full dashboard. You will have all options open. Now you just go to post, add new, so, now if we like to create a new post with a pin in it, we, for example, call this one Pinterest post. Very easy. Now, go to your Pinterest account. Now you've got the, you can search for anything. Let's say travel. Okay, now you've got the option. You can either embed just a pin. If you want to do that, for example, this one here, you click on that and it opens up. Now you can see here in your, in your address bar, you can see the actual individual pin. Just click into that, copy the link, go back to your post. There we go. And um, write a little content pin. And then very important, you click enter, all right? Before you embed the pin. Embed the pin, you just paste the code which, which you just copied from Pinterest. There you go. It will change automatically into a pin, okay? If it doesn't change and it still shows the hyperlink, what you have to do is, let's say, we're just gonna embed here hyperlink. So if it still looks like this, okay, hyperlink, you click in it and then you remove the link, all right? By removing the link, the pin will change into an image. All right, now we can do another one. There are more options. We go back to your Pinterest account and let's say if you would like to embed a board, okay? When you search for something, you find here, you find your boards as well. Click onto travel, inspiration. There we go. There's another board. You can embed the whole board if you like. As you can see here, you see the name of the board now. So again, you click into the address bar, copy, go back to your post, write a little content if you like. Here. Enter and paste. There you go. You can see how quickly, how quickly the link changes into the images. Now you've got one more option. When you go back to your Pinterest again, and now we're going to go for a person. Let's say the jet setter. You can see now the name of the person in your address bar. To embed his profile, you can do exactly the same. You copy this, you go back to your, back to your uh, poster page and embed a profile. Enter again. So, you, so your cursor sits in a new line and you paste there again link changed very quickly into an image. Now the only thing you have to do is add your post to a category and publish. Now let's have a look. You can click here onto view post. Let me scroll down a little bit. There's a pin, here's a board and here's a whole profile. Now Please remember, these will not be displayed if your blog is marked as private, okay? If your blog is marked as private, what you can do is you can go to settings, okay? You go back into your dashboard and in settings, reading, you can change your site visibility. So from private, to allow search engines to index your site. When you do that, the pins will be displayed as well. 
So, that's it. Now you know how to embed Pinterest in WordPress.com. In my next video, I will show you how to add Pinterest and other social buttons to WordPress and how to verify your Pinterest account. If you would like to do all this with a self-hosted.org website, you will need to download a plugin that calls Jetpack first. You can find the link to the plugin below and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have learned something. Please let me know if you have any questions and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel for more free tutorials to come. Give me a thumbs up and why not share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. This was Julie from WordPress Training Island.